Sofia Tolstoya, Nibas, is the second daughter of a Moscow doctor, hereditary nobleman Andrei Ivstefievich and heiress of the merchant's fortune Lyubov Alexandrovna. Writer Ivan Turgenev is Sonia and her sisters Tatyana and Elizaveta brother from his father's side. His mother Varvara Petrovna Andreba served as a family doctor. The girls received an excellent education at home, and Sofia also received a diploma from Moscow University, which gives her the right to teach. From the age of 11 she kept a diary. This hobby eventually grew into a full-fledged writing activity. Almost all the time the family lived in the capital, only moving to the countryside for the summer. One day in 1861, the young Count Tolstoy, who had known Lyubov Alexandrovna for a long time, visited the Buzz. Lev has already been glorified by stories written during military operations in the Caucasus. The writer left military service and was looking for a life partner who would meet his high requirements attractive, smart, simple and healthy in order to give birth to the same healthy children. Burses saw in the Count a contender for the hand of Elizabeth, and by that time, the crown nobleman Mitrofan Polivanov had approached Sofia and even received preliminary consent, however. Tolstoy subsequently wrote, in his memoirs, that he had no feelings for Lisa and did not want to. Marry only by calculation. In a message to Sofia, Lev Nikolaevich was frank. To consider that he was in love with Elizabeth is a false look and injustice, and immediately asked to marry him. At first, the father opposed. Offended by the eldest daughter, but Sofia who had already learned how to subtly influence people, persuaded Andrei Ivstefievich. The wedding was played a week after the official proposal. The marriage with the writer was a turning point in the life of Sofia Andreevna. From secular salons, an 18-year-old girl ended up in a village where previously unknown worries fell on her regarding the maintenance of a large estate, bookkeeping and other matters. In the Count's house, there was surprisingly no luxury, and the ascetic habits of her husband Tolstoy were shocked at first. The book My Life describes in great detail the daily worries of the young countess. It got to the point that Sophia bought white caps and aprons and forced the cooks to wear them. The woman to some extent shared the material part of her life together with her husband, but did not agree to change spiritual values. An entry dated 18, 67 illustrates the way of life in the Count's family. Life became more and more closed, without events, without participation in public life, without arts and without any changes and fun, trying to match the ideals of Lev Nikolaevich. Sophia meekly endured the requirements of a true house builder, created comfort, trying to keep everything about the simple, as the writer loved. She allowed herself to disagree with her husband when it came to children. Tolstoy gave birth to nine boys and for girls. Five never became adults. She simply could not bear one child. Son Sergei, only when he grew up and read his mother's notes, preparing for the publication of the book, did he understand what a difficult biography Sofia Andreevna had developed. Sofia raised children without nannies and assistants. Lev was categorically against tutors. Tolstoy did not share her husband's aspiration to be content with the minimum, to earn by physical labor, and to distribute all the valuables to those in need. She was faced with the task of educating children, ensuring financial well-being in order to look worthy in the eyes of others. Lev Nikolaevich believed that excess is corrupt. External tinsel interferes with the search for some higher meaning. In addition to solving pressing issues, the Countess found time to help the writer in his work. Sofia Andreevna replaced the wife of a personal secretary, translator, editor. Tolstoy, the only one, passed Leo's clumsy handwriting, rewrote drafts of works into which the author made endless edits, I copied only war and peace into a notebook seven times. Sophia, who in another situation would have shown at social events, turned out to be an excellent manager, 
where there was not enough knowledge, she consulted with friends. She met Anna Snitkina Dostoevskaya, the widow of Fyodor Mikhailovich, who taught Tolstoy a book publishing and sales of Lev's works over the years. Constant disagreements alienated husband and wife from each other. Lev Nikolaevich openly expressed dissatisfaction with the way life had turned out. Sofia Andreevna was rightly offended because her works did not receive the expected assessment. She said that she did not understand when exactly the moment that divided the spouses came and in what way it was expressed in search of peace of mind. Tolstoy began to take music lessons from the pianist and composer Sergei Tanayev. The musician brought the exhausted woman to a wonderful state. It was a celebration of life. Sophia herself defined these relationships as love. When Tanayev left, the countess hid her longing. By her own admission, behind feverish activity. Sister Tatjana, children Ilya, Alexandra and Maria reproached their mother for being too attached to a stranger at times. The countess had a hope that something more would grow out of music lessons. Lev Nikolaevich also noticed a change in his wife. In his diaries, without naming names, he wrote that he did not sleep at night worries, but pities not himself, but her, subsequently, Tanayev. Referring to employment, stopped this ambiguous connection. The departure of Leo Tolstoy from life aroused in Sofia a desire to immediately join him despite everything. The Countess experienced unbearable longing and remorse in relation to her husband. Every day a woman visited the grave of a loved one and changed the flowers there. Sofia Andreevna survived her husband by nine years. And Leo Tolstoy's wife dedicated these years to preserving the creative heritage of the writer she published a collection of works, letters that the spouses wrote to each other. Saved personal items, which later became part of the museum collection. In the estate, Tolstoy became the first guide. Sofia Tolstoy died in November 1919, most likely due to natural causes. She was buried to kilometers from Yasnaya Polyana. In the cemetery of the village of Kokoki, next to the church of St. Nicholas, in this necropolis are the graves of the grandfather, parents and brother of Lev Nikolaevich, sister of Sofia Tatyana, judging by the photos published on the internet. There are no pompous monuments on the graves, only modest wooden crosses and tablets with names and dates.